heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, nine losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, John Blankowicz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record of five wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Are uh, you ready? All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is... Oh! You didn't like that. Oh. Oh. Back to the feet. You got him. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Counter punch landed there by Slice. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Kimbo Slice gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. One two punch by Wahovic. Cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And he comes knee. through with a big knee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. It's a big knee. Wachowicz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Liver kick. Oh, nice. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separations. And now, the ground and pound starts. Both fighters get up now. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Kimbo Slice. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Plans a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Slice. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Trying to 
establish that jab once again. some of these. 20 seconds to go round two. knockout he turned in here tonight that is one they'll be talking about for some time ladies and gentlemen referee Dan Liotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes 55 seconds of round number two declaring the winner by knockout Kimbo all right so there he is the man of the moment celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career and Gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make.